Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see what are the advantages of using the document database. Let's try to see. Let's create a slideshow. We will discuss about the advantages of the document database. Normally, there are five different advantages in using the document database. So there are actually five different advantages are there in using this document database. The first advantage is initiative data model. The way that the data is getting stored, right? The data model. So how the structure of the data is the first advantage. Documents mapped to the object in your code is more natural to work. So that means the documents are mapped to the object. The document database is nothing but we'll be storing the document in a way in, in the object model, right? So the way the object is there, right? So in your code, if you're trying to use, it is more natural to work. Every data, we, every data which you need to retrieve, you will keep them in a single document. Okay. So the structure of the data, how you are storing in an object. So if you want to retrieve that one, so you will you can retrieve them in a single document. There is no need to have expensive joins or divide your data into multiple tables or multiple objects like relational database in case of document database. That means there is no need to keep the expensive joins in relational database. You use the inner join, left join, right join like that we will be using right in the same scenario. So there is no need to have, uh, there is no need to use these joins or divide your data into multiple tables or multiple objects like relational database in case of document database. Data that is accessed together, so data that is accessed together is stored together. So you have to write less code and you can retrieve data quickly and efficiently. So the data which you want to access is, is stored in one place in a one single document so that there is no need to write. Uh, there is no need to write the more code in order to get all the data different from the different parts so that you can retrieve it very quickly and also efficiently. The second advantage, the second advantage is the flexible schema the document database is dynamic and self describing in relational database if you try to see you will be having a schema structure you will be you need to follow that relational database schema and all those things but here uh, columns rows so you need to have a fixed row fixed columns these are all the things column names each table has so this is the so you will be having some <clears throat> rules and regulations but here the document database is dynamic and self describing you can have any structured data or unstructured data inside your documents. So you can have a structured data or unstructured data inside your documents. So it is a flexible thing. Whereas in the RDBMS, you'll be having the structured data. You can create a document which contains array and element of the array can further contain different arrays. That means you can create a document which contains an array. So you can create a document which contains array and, and the each element in that array can have different arrays. Like this, you can have different types of uh, uh, structure you can have. There is no set of rules how you can build your schema that provides a lot of flexibility of how you want to store a data. So there is no particular set of rules. So you need to create it like this only. You need to create it like this only. There are no particular rules in document database so that it so that you can build your schema. So with a lot of flexibility, so the structure and all those things, you can build it with a lot of flexibility. How you want to store the data, you can use it. For dynamic business like e-commerce, so if you are having a business like e-commerce, if you want to add one particular attribute to one of your product, so if you want to add one particular attribute, something like price or best price, any column, so if you want to add any, any attribute to one of your product, you just don't have to create a new column for your schema or your new schema. So normally we will create of that particular product table, we create a new column some, with the name best price or uh, something like that column name. So we need to change the schema, but here, so you don't have to create a new column or a new schema in the document database. In document database, you can just go ahead and specify that one time unique data just fine inside your document. So in document database, you just go, you can just go ahead and specify that one time unique data. So whatever the unique data you want, you can just specify it. So it works just fine inside your data. So one time, so if you have a unique data, so best price for one time only one, you can do it, you can create it and you can use it inside your document without any problem. The flexibility of the schema and initiative data model is possible because of the JSON documents. So this type of flexibility, so whatever the data, so for one purpose, uh, the creation of the data in the documents, 
this type of flexibility of the schema is possible only through the json documents because of this json documents only it is possible document database uses the javascript object notation i already told you right the document database uses the javascript object notation to store all the data so json is a lightweight language independent and human readable object we already discussed about this json thing so json is a lightweight language and also language independent so it's a lightweight language independent and human readable object when you are using json you can work with all the json documents when you are working when you are using the json you can work with all the json documents or json objects using a single query language giving user a consistent development experience so this is this thing so when you are working with the json objects so you can use a single query language so the next advantage what i want to tell you is the query language itself the language to query the data in mongodb is one of the most feature rich query language so now if you want to extract the data from the mongodb the query language what it is used is the most feature rich query language as mongodb is using the json documents it is very easy to modify a single document or multiple document all together into different clusters the mongodb is using a as mongodb is in json documents it is very easy to modify a single document or a multiple document all together in the different clusters if they are available in the different clusters also it is very easy to modify document database also supports very rich indexing so you can it also supports a very rich indexing so that we can retrieve data very efficiently from our document database because of this indexing feature so we can retrieve the data very efficiently from the document another advantage is the distributed scalable database so this is the another advantage so that is nothing but distributed scalable database the relational databases are best known for scaling up so you already know if you are uh, uh, if you have a touch with the relational database so those are known for scaling up scaling means that when you reach to a point so now scaling means what i want to tell you is i will tell you overly so briefly that when you reach to a point that you need to upgrade your relational database that you reach to a threshold point that uh, okay it has reached to the maximum performance thing i want to increase the uh, so i want to scale up the relational database piece you need to you will be adding more resources like memory cpu so you will increase the machine uh, per, uh, hardware thing so that is nothing but the scaling up but in the document database you don't have to scale up vertically so here scaling up vertically means the single machine you will add the hardware support for example if it is having 1 gb ram so you will increase the g 1 gb to 2 gb and you will increase the processor memory cpu memory so like that you are scaling up vertically so in single machine you are scaling up but here in the document database you can always do the horizontal scaling horizontal scaling means you have one machine and you can add a similar machine parallelly so this is nothing but the difference between scaling vertically and scaling horizontally scaling vertically means single machine you you will be increasing the hardware performance whereas in the horizontal scaling so one machine will be there so if you want to increase the performance instead of increasing the hardware for this existing machine you will add an another machine so if you want you can add another machine so multiple machines you will you can add it so that it call it, it is called as an horizontal scaling what it means is that you can depend on the commodity hardware to host your document database so you can have a horizontal scaling and you can host your document database in different machines documents are independent units normally the documents are in the in this document database are independent units which makes it easier to distribute them across the multiple server while we preserve data locally so that means as these documents are independent units we can store wherever whatever the machine you want if they are dependent to each other the documents means so we need to store it in a single machine but these are independent units so you can use it in multiple machines so that is the reason it is easy to do the horizontal scaling it is very easy to maintain your data into multiple machines commodity hardware where you have feature rich replication and self headline methodology self healing methodology actually sorry i have that was mistake self healing methodologies so it is very easy to maintain so as it is they have a very rich feature uh, replication and self healing methodology so you can maintain the multiple machines so these are the advantages of the using the document database okay in the next video we'll try to see why we need to use the mongodb so we have we understood about the advantages of document database now why we need to use this 
MongoDB. Let's try to see it in the next video. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.